Hello, my brothers and sisters. I'm driving. And the other thing about this, this video that I'm going to make to you guys, is that God, right now, he's actually leading me right now to make this video for you guys. And this is my second dream of, uh, of the dream. Uh, my first dream that I had about the countdown dream. This is my second dream. This is the dream that bothered me, that really, it, it made my spirit like heavy, okay? So this is the dream. In this dream, I was in this very small village. And for some reason, this village suffered some sort of trouble or problem. And then, I was uh, I was in this village, and I was telling people, especially people who were there. I was telling them, Jesus Christ is coming. The end, the end is near. The judgment is now. I was telling them things will change. Jesus Christ is near. Judgment is coming. The end is now. Things will change. And these people that were in this building. It was like a small building, sort of village type of place, and it was really poor. And I was telling them, telling them, they didn't, uh, they didn't receive the message. So all of a sudden, I look outside of this village, and there's this hill, like 200 meters away. There's this hill, and in this hill, there's like this army that's coming, but there's a there's a man. There's a, like a like an army that's that's approaching this village, but I cannot see the army, who they are, how do they look like. I just feel like there's some sort of like thousands of troops, sort of like a huge group of people coming towards the village. So when I look outside. I also see, along with this group of people, I see someone representing them, and it's this Indian, right, on this uh, red horse, it's very clear, war and destruction, that's what's coming, war and destruction. So this guy, this rider, he's riding the horse, but this guy, he's like free, this guy's like, he has no order, he, this guy's like leading the group of people. The troops, they're organized, but this guy himself, he's like wild. He's like riding wild, jumping in this horse. And he's like riding crazy. Okay, he's like a crazy rider. This guy's like riding and, and just going left and right, right and left. And he starts riding towards my village, but he's like 200 meters away. So I come back to the village and when I look to the, when I look back, to the, look how crazy this is. I'll show you guys. Look at this car right here. The back of this car is one, one, one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. As I'm making this video, this car's tag in front of me is one, one, one. Check that out. That's how crazy God is. Hallelujah. That's a crazy. Wow. Hallelujah. All right. So. As this guy is riding towards the village and the armies are following him. There's a policeman here. I got to lower my phone. As this guy is riding towards the village and like uh, he's riding towards the village, I look back and the people that I was preaching to judgment is coming Jesus Christ returning judgment is now the end is now there's no time left these people were all dead on the ground all of them they were black white blonde people Asian um, um, Latino all of these people that were down on the ground they were dead already and I looked in the back. I went to the back of this section of the village to a place that I was staying in this village, in this place. I was staying there with my family, like me and my mom. 
we were there. And when I went to her, I, I said to her, quickly, right, we need to get ready. So when I look back, I said to her, quickly, we need to get ready. When I look back, the guy on the horse, he was right in front of me. Like he was right there. Right, this guy was right there and this guy pulled the horse back. And I looked at it and it was so frightening. I fell on my back on this place. I fell on my back and I looked at the horse and the guy like he was right there. <clears throat> I started running again back to my mom. And when I went back, my mom, she had this bell. She had this sackcloth on top of her and she was putting it on top of her. So I grabbed another sackcloth and I put it on top of me like it was like a submission, right? Like we were turning ourselves in. And this is what my mom said. I believe I have some Chinese relatives, which is not true. I don't know what she would say that. But she was basically letting me know that the people that they were going to conquer us, they were Chinese. All right. The people that they were going to conquer us were Chinese. So this is the other dream confirmation that I had after this dream. The dream ended, okay? So when I when the horse comes in, I look at the horse, I fall on my back. I go to the back of the village. My mom already, she had this sackcloth on top of her. I grab another sackcloth and I place it on top of me. And she was like, maybe I have some Chinese relatives. Now, as soon as these, this dream ends, the other picture is me on this labor camp with these rocks on my back and I was carrying them on this place and we were like picking and mining rocks and stuff and I was like in labor I was doing I was like doing labor for these people I was like some sort of a like slave and I was taking into captivity right so he was the Chinese they actually came after something happened and they conquer us and basically they took us captive and I had to work for them, right? I had to work for them, my friends. So the dream ended. I was so disturbed by this dream because it was so real and it was like so heavy, my spirit. That I didn't want to share it. You know, maybe I was like talking to God, Lord, did I sin? Did I do something wrong? You know? But the dream, the whole dream is just disturbed me. Okay, so I had another dream that I was in this, uh, this university. <laughs> and all of a sudden there's this big, thick, dark clouds coming in from the north and they were like lining a lot of lining and there were these planes these these planes were Chinese planes and these people uh these these students they were screaming and yelling and they were like we're being attacked something's happening we're being attacked right so my own girlfriend recently she has a dream that we were we were in this place we were like prisoners and we were in separate cages and like they Chinese had taken us captive so that's how insane it is I want to tell you guys something how God judges nation if you read uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 you're going to see the judgment of this nation this nation I believe I strongly believe it's going to be judged but since there's a lot of righteous people this God is going to allow the enemy to conquer this nation and he's going to allow many of us I believe to be taken into captivity if you read Daniel he says that many will be whitened many will be made white you see they wickedly the wicked, the wicked shall do wickedly. The righteous will do 
more righteous, more righteously. They will become more righteous. And that's done by the sifting and God's going to whiten out. Right? But how God judges a nation in the Bible, He grows up the enemy of the nation. He grows them. And then He brings them back and to the nation when the nation lives Him. And He just destroys them. And He gathers a remnant of His people and He takes them. You know, He lets the the conquering nation he takes he lets the he lets the conquering nation take his own people away and he lets them be kept alive so in this dream she had a dream that we were in different cages and and the cages were filled i believe with people and we were separated and we were being taken away captive as like prisoners so take this dream to the Lord. I'm not going to draw extreme conclusions. I believe this nation, the United States, will be attacked. This nation will be no more. The Chinese will come in. They will storm in. They will take people captive. And this nation just will be no more. Read Jeremiah chapter 51. You'll be scared for what it says. This nation is great Babylon, mother of harlots and abominations of the world. This is the nation. The United States is great Babylon. Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the world, is this nation, the United States of America. And it says in Jeremiah 51, Babylon was a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Take this dream to the Lord, because I've had dreams and I've asked them what's going to happen. He keeps showing me judgment and judgment and judgment. He keeps showing me about the Chinese or the Russians. So my girlfriend had a dream recently that we were being taken captive by the Chinese and we were in different cages. God bless you guys.